All right, so this let's get this thing all set. So this is MapSat one. Uh, should be all good. Now we do have a contract now, so we should take a look at it. That's right, I got it under here. So it is simply to do a low resolution altimetry scan of the Earth, and it'll take 75. Uh, you have to get 75% of the Earth covered. So it's not going to happen today because the scan happens slowly over time. But we, it gives us an opportunity to talk about the ScanSat mob, which is going to be, I think, pretty neat. But right here, again, it's telling me to run my orbit program. So run. Oh, I see why RCS is coming on. It's when I hit the... There we go. Run orbit 185 degree heading. And we're going to go for an altitude of 100,000. Close that, and we'll see how she does. So again, it does the roll again. I should look into fixing that so the roll doesn't happen at all, but now at least I like the way it's oriented now. off and off. let's see so there's going to be probably that same sort of little bit of issue with the losing control you can also see how the rock it's pulling back on the pitch right the rocket wants to fall over faster but the the engine is pitching back as far as it can to try and keep it going a little bit more steeply probably a little more thrust on these might be a good idea I'll put some more thrust on the next one. But I'm going to about to stage these right now. There we go. But maybe a little more thrust because that will naturally have made it go up more steeply if I had more thrust at launch. I probably should have had more thrust at launch. Little, little, I can't go back now though. Alright, again we should be watching our Apple Wapsis here, and this is around the time I think when it starts losing a bit of control. realize that we dropped a whole bunch of boosters and they're probably gonna like bomb Naples down here or something <laughs> look out Fort Myers we're coming for you with our boosters all right uh, so oh actually this is I think it would have flipped out Wow I don't know what what difference maybe that little bit of change of thrust but this thing just held right on to its vector this time something went right Something went right. There we go. And there we go. And again, notice how close the prograde vector is to the 180. So we're very close to a polar orbit. Unfortunately, I don't have I don't have these advanced orbital info stuff, so I can't see that's done. I can't see what my inclination actually is, but it's going to be close to a polar orbit. That looks pretty good, my my estimation. Okay, so here we go. And this thing is going to tumble a little bit. We'll just let it do that. I also, with only two solar panels, i got to be a little bit cognizant of... of electricity and how this thing is oriented once it's in space. Okay, so we are... Okay, we're, we got an apoapsis of 97 kilometers, so... I can let this tumble about a little bit further. I think before... I'm going to see if this will actually naturally get somewhere close to the prograde vector before I start trying to do the actual circularization. Closer here. I'm watching this. If this needle starts to go down, that means we're 
very close to apoapsis, I think. I'm thinking I might just start to do this a little bit of throttle, putting it towards a little more throttle. Okay. There we go. Again, I don't want. Oh, that went a lot more cleanly. Now full, full throttle here. Full throttle. Unfortunately, not a lot of not a lot of thrust in those little spider engines. Again, I don't want that apoapsis going up too high, so I am keeping an eye on it over here, but still got a lot to put into that periapsis. I think I'm okay. I'm almost at 2,000 meters per second. Orbital velocity is like, you know, 2,250-ish. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this. There we go. Who needs SAS? There, oh, 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 missed the X button. <laughs> so my orbit's a little, a little bit wonky, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's start our scan sap before we lose our signal, which I think is going to happen any moment now. Uh, the scan sap on. There we go. And everything else, I'm going to have to just turn off. That stop, that stop. The antenna stays on. Okay, that's good. Um, and this, oh, according to this, I have three minutes of electric charge, but... Ah! That's 4%. Might do a little bit of... Let's see if I can do a little bit of a roll here. I don't like the way it's tumbling. So I'm going to roll and then... Come on. Oh. A little bit of throttle. And there's no way for me to hold attitude control because this thing, but what I want it to do is at least tumble enough that every once in a while a solar panel will get a little bit decent exposure and give me some charge back. That might be okay. That might be okay. So anyway, let's just talk about ScanSat because for now... This might not work only because of the solar panels. Shoot. Okay. For now, um, it is running. So let's open up ScanSat. So ScanSat, for those people that don't know, produces this really awesome little map. Now this is just, you get better scanners as you progress through the game and you get better ability to make the maps. But you can see here if I, I think I should be able to just zoom in there. Yep. You can see it's just doing, now unfortunately right now it's just over the water, so there's not much to see. But as it progresses along, it's scanning the surface below it. And when I fill up 75% of the entire uh, globe, I should be able to get this contract completed. And that obviously is going to take some time, but it does run in the background while you are um, not doing anything. And right now I can see... It uh, has lost its signal with the KSC, but the scanner still runs. And what it should be doing is it's... Pro oh, I, I have no information. I can't do any because I don't have a signal. It's it's going to be filling up its lo lo local hard drive, which unfortunately is not too big. But then when it gets a signal back, it's going to download all that map. And eventually, eventually over time... We should be able to scan the whole surface. You can scan for biomes. You can do all kinds of stuff. But basically, I think my best plan is actually probably just to leave this thing for now. So <laughs> I'm going to call that. We'll see. We'll see if I get that 75%. I don't know. I'm going to have to resolve the issue with the communication. But right now, it's back to the Space Center. Let's see if we can. Oh, do the auto thing. That's very true. With MapSat here. Um. I should show that to people. So this is uh, being mentioned in the chat that I should do the auto thing where it turns off when the charge is really low. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Uh, you can get into here and it's under the configure. Ah, 
ah, shoot, come back. There we go. And you can do this. Isn't it under the, yeah, it's under the configure. You can do it even from here. You don't have to go to the vessel. And I, I can't do it. I'm not seeing what I should be seeing because I don't have a signal. That's my problem. So I have to wait until I have a signal and then I can do that. But that is a good idea. Would have been a good idea to do before I lost my signal. But I lost my signal. So maybe what I should do then. I might not get a signal though because KSC is rotating. Oh my gosh. Kerbin, of course, is rotating. Where is it here? There we go. The KSC, of course, is rotated away from where am I? Oh, wait, we might get it. There's my signal. Okay, let's let's see if I can do this. So if I go to here and go to configure, yes, maybe, and go to automate, I think it's out of electricity. Shoot, let's fly it. Do you ever have this thing where this is a stock thing where you can't, you have it selected, but you can't actually go to it there. Now I can go to it. Okay. I really think I'm going to be coming back next week with a different tech tree. And well, it doesn't help of course that we're in the night either, but I have me, I, I, I have no connection because I think I just ran out of electricity. So this thing might be a little bit poochified until I get the, the, unfortunately, I think it just ran out of electricity and because it should be close enough to pick up a signal there. Oh, well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I think I'm going to be coming back here with a different tech tree and I'm going to deal with those ground stations. Get rid of that. Uh, constellation mod. What happens if I open ScanSat? Where's ScanSat? There. Yeah, it's working anyway. <laughs> you can see how it is filling in the map. So it's working anyway. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Uh, worrying about nothing. 